$5 Games presents Agent in Depth. I was able to get the bad ending in this early access game in less than an hour. However, it's designed to be a speedrun game, so it's supposed to be ran over and over again, decreasing your time. The plot is given through a snippy conversation between an AI and the protagonist. The AI saying things in the vein of, I bet you can't get to the bottom of this simulation, no one else was able to, and the protagonist replying with, oh yeah? Well watch me. The bad ending was simply the AI saying, Saying, you're too slow, so I'm starting you back at the beginning. This could be a running man situation from Zelda Ocarina of Time where you're always too slow, but I'm unsure. The gameplay consists of destroying all the turrets in each room to proceed. You can do this by deflecting the bullets that the turrets shoot with a sword back at them. The sword itself cannot destroy the turrets. The bullets get deflected towards where the cursor is on the screen, which you can control with the mouse. However, the white ones don't get deflected very far, and the blue ones push the protagonist around when you hit them. Each floor consists of three rooms, and if you die, you have to start that floor over again. Being in early access, there are a few quality of life features missing, such as deflecting a bullet and then dying to said bullet even though it got deflected. Then again, it might actually be deflecting a bullet after you die. It was hard to tell, and the answer is the same regardless of simply swinging the sword earlier. Overall, it's a fun action platformer without too much depth and fairly short. Subscribe, I do 5 games each week until I get to 100 videos. That's a wrap for this game, consider picking this game up instead of an elevator.